it's coffee time. Oh my gosh, it feels so nice to just sit here and talk to you right now. <laughs> I have had such a poopy day. Just the poopiest, not the poopiest. I can honestly say I'm in a good mood still. I never got into a bad, funky mood. I haven't been crying all over the place. Nothing like that. But I've had a frustrating day. That's the right way to put it. There were a lot of things that I needed to get done today. Um, most of them, I think, are going to happen, but have taken way longer than they needed to. And that is so frustrating. I woke up with basically a full day's work of work to do. Work of work. A full day's worth of work to do. So I was like, okay, my Saturday is going to be a full-on work day, and that's totally fine. But it becomes frustrating when you create in your brain an efficient way to do everything and to get everything done, you know, intermingled with each other. And just none of it goes right. And you just don't know what to do. One of the things, which I thought was going to be really fun and wound up not being very fun, unfortunately, was uh, they wanted us to play Elder Scrolls Online for Polaris not being paid or anything, just to play it, just to be like, here's Elder Scrolls Online. So we were like, cool, let's do that. So we had it all planned out. We were going to play it tonight for like two hours. And I spent an hour and a half stuck in a bug, like an awful bug. And not just one bug, actually. Um, three different bugs happened to me. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm not under NDA. I could go into detail, but it's just kind of like, uh, the GMs were really nice to me. They did everything in their power to help me out and get me out of there. And, uh, it was just very frustrating. And so we wound up doing Elder Scrolls Online for basically my entire evening. And I was just like, why is this happening? Like, I just wanted to hang out, have fun, play Elder Scrolls Online. And I wound up in one bug with one character. And then they were like, all right, just start over with a new character. And I was like, okay. So I started over with a new character and then hit an even worse bug and just couldn't do anything. And of course, all of the guys, it was Neil, Chad, Jared Rosen, and I. Jared Rosen is one of our writers. And so we were all on a Skype call and they were just like, hey, are you still stuck in that place? Hey, are you still stuck right now? And I was like, shut up. <laughs> like, I literally just could, like, couldn't move. And Neil kept coming on the call and being like, are you still stuck? All right, cool. I'm going to go then. <laughs> just like leave for a while and come back and be like, hey, what's the sitch? You still stuck? All right, cool. I'm going to leave. <laughs> it's just like, oh God. It was frustrating because I was the one holding up the whole thing. Like I was the cause of this going on for our entire Saturday nights. And I felt awful about that because all of them had things that they wanted to be doing that were not just sitting around waiting for me to get out of a bug. Oh man. But once like, once I was playing the game without bugs, fun very fun and again the game masters were so sweet like just talking with them in the little chat window they were like okay how about this okay have you tried this okay hold on just a second we're gonna try to fix your problem and i was like oh, you guys are so nice uh it made it it made it okay the fact that they were so nice made it okay but i was just oh so frustrated so News is uploading right now at 11.30 at night. Got pretty much everything done now. Um, <laughs> I haven't eaten. I should probably eat something. I don't know what I'm going to eat, though. I feel like I've eaten just, like, not good food all day. No, that's not true. I made an omelet. I haven't made an omelet in forever. I have, like, a, spec a special trip. Plips. <laughs> I have, like, a special trick to making omelets and it makes great omelets every time what you do is uh you mix your eggs with a little bit of water whip it up put it in your pan right and then you cook the egg until there's just a very small layer of liquid still left on top of the egg don't flip it just leave it just let it cook and then there's going to be like a little layer of, of egg, just still not quite cooked on the top. And then you take it and you put it under a broiler. For any of you who have an oven with a broiler, use it. You rarely get to use broilers. Use it for this. So you turn on your broiler, right, which makes it so that the heat comes from the top. You take your egg. And you're going to just open up your oven and just put it under the broiler until it's cooked, that top 
layer of liquid, right? And then you take it out. Whatever you want to put in your omelet, you put it in the omelet. You flip it over. It's going to look beautiful. You flip it over. You put it back in there until, you know, put it, put it back under the broiler until, like, the cheese is melted if you have cheese on it or anything like that. I don't put cheese on mine because I'll fart everywhere. And you pull it out, and you've got an omelet that looks so beautiful. And everybody's going to be like, how did you make this omelet? And you'll be like, oh, you know, I'm just skilled. You don't have to tell everybody your secret that you know how to use broilers. The second I learned how to do that, I started making omelets all the time. I learned how to do it in high school. And, man, once I learned how to do that, my dad was like, hey, you want to make me an omelet? <laughs> I was like, yeah. Yeah, I can do that. It's pretty great. But... Make sure that you're using a pan that won't, like, make the omelet too thick because then it's hard to flip over and then it might crack a little bit, you know, like a bad taco. So just make sure that it's going to be, you know, like a nice thin layer of egg and then all your, all your insides and then flop it over. I love omelets because I don't like – I can't just eat eggs every day. I'm not that sort of person. Jeannie is totally that sort of person. She loves eggs. I am okay with eggs. My mom doesn't like eggs at all. I am okay with eggs, but I I can't just eat them all the time. I, I get like, mm, I get over eggs pretty easily. So what I love about omelets is you've got this thin layer of egg and then just whatever's in your fridge, right? Just throw it in there. Like today, I was like, all right, I've got a little bit of leftover broccoli. I've got a little bit of leftover chicken. I've got some uh, chopped up onions that I didn't use yet throw it all in the omelet and it was delicious and i got an avocado that's like pretty ripe put some avocado on the top Mwah. so good so good so man omelets but then i ate a bunch of chips <laughs> just ate like chips for lunch and i haven't had dinner i'm just like i need to eat something i need to eat a thing but yeah, just had, you know, just one of those days where just nothing was going right. And technology is wonderful and technology is awful at the same time. It was just one of those days. And it wasn't until um, I was on Tumblr the other day and uh, and somebody said, I don't remember who it was. A couple of people said things all along these lines. They were like, man, you complain about technology more than anybody I know. Or you complain about YouTube more than anybody that I follow on YouTube on Twitter oh my god you complain about YouTube more than anybody that I follow on Twitter and I was like that's awful like am I just easily irritated by these problems or do these problems not happen to other people or do other people know how to get around these problems and so I've tried really hard to not be that complainy butt on Twitter anymore I'm like don't complain anymore just don't complain about it just you know if if something's not gonna upload on time, apologize, but don't complain. And it's so hard, <laughs> especially today. Today tested all of it. I was just like, I complained about the game. I did not complain about YouTube. Doesn't count. <laughs> I know it doesn't count, I know. Oh God, it's like this weird outlet where I can just be like, Bleh. I need to not use it for that though. Twitter should be used for good. Twitter should be used for, for bird chirps, not for bird poops. Bird metaphor is because the Twitter icon is a little bird. But yeah, I think everything's still going to go up. It's just going to happen, like, late. <laughs> Which sucks. But that's okay. That's, you know, that's life. That's how it goes sometimes. And uh, tomorrow, I don't think that I really have anything that I need to do. So thank goodness. I'm just going to relax. So make a coffee time, but I'm just gonna relax. I don't think Sam has anything to do either, so we'll just watch movies and cook dinner and relax, and that'll be nice. Sam's had a frustrating day too, <laughs> so we're both we're, tonight. We're both just gonna be like, mm. I don't know. That's okay. Sometimes you have <clears throat> nights, and that's okay. <laughs> but anywho, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna eat. And I hope you guys had an amazing day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. Mwah! <sighs>